ordinary horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Faster, boy, faster! I'm Silver! Boy! Two men rode side by side along a rocky trail in the Texas wasteland. One was young and wore the badge of a United States Marshal. His companion was a deputy sheriff, a heavy-set, thin-lipped man who carried his six guns low within easy reach of his large, hairy hands. Suddenly, as they topped a rise in the trail, the two riders saw their destination, a narrow gorge which led into a mountain basin. That's the pass dead ahead, Marshal. I see. Is there another entrance to the gulch? No, that's the only one. Yeah, if there's no other escape and Big Mike is hiding out in the gulch, as you say, why haven't you and the sheriff arrested him? Well, mail robbery is a government offense. Me and the sheriff ain't got no call to meddle. Well, Big Mike is a murderer, too. He killed the mail guard. Missouri isn't the kind of a sheriff to let a killer go free. Maybe he figured you'd be coming down from the county seat to make the arrest anyway, Marshal. I wish Missouri was here. I'd like to ask him a few questions. And too bad he was called out of town to fetch back that horse thief. He'd be plumb glad to see you. Here is a new deputy, huh? Yep. Outlaws drilled the last one. It's a good thing I ran into you. I'd never have located Big Mike's hideout myself. Glad to be a help, Marshal. Well, we've almost reached the pass. <laughs> yep. Won't be long now. You're the only person I've talked to who's seen Big Mike without his mask. What's he look like? Well, seen is worth the pass, I'll tell you. He's got black hair, bushy eyebrows. Bullet scar on his left cheek. Bullet scar? Well, that description fits you. Yeah. Matter of fact, Marshal, I'm a dead ringer for Big Mike. I even carry my hardware the way he does. In my hands. I don't understand. Your man hunts over, Marshal. Big Mike. Take a good look. It's your last. <laughs> Over the green prairie grass of Mustang Mang's Lazy J Ranch, raced an all-white colt with young Dan Reed, the Lone Ranger's nephew, astride his back. Days of constant riding and taming the son of the great horse Silver without breaking his fiery spirit, and now free of the corral and plunging and pitching with which he had attempted to dislodge the young stranger who was so determined to master him, the colt and his rider seemed to blend as one as they streaked across the ranch land. Watching Dan as he proudly reined in the horse for the Lone Ranger, Tonto, Mustang Mag, and Missouri, the excitable, talkative old sheriff of Trigger Bend. Oh, there, boy. Oh, 
Holder. Oh, son, you've got the makings of a real horseman, sure as I'm standing here. Golly, you really think so? Ah, uh, you ride plenty fine. Yes, sir. <laughs> Couldn't ride that there cayuse better myself. Why, you spavin' stoving old moss horn? If it wasn't for them bow legs of yours, you couldn't even stay on a horse. That's a dead ratted lie. Doggone it, Mag. You got more ways of getting under a man's skin than any petticoat in this here county. You've come a long way, Dan. But there are still several things about a horse you must know. I know. I've still got a lot to learn. Most of them you'll learn as we ride together. Ah, uh, you'll find out plenty soon. <laughs> Gosh, I hope you let me ride with you soon. Do you think you can take your horse over that fence now? Uh, I'll try. Fence jumping is mighty important when you're riding the range, young'un. Well, I remember once when hey, I was sorry, just... Hey, Jerry, you're a loud-talking old fool. Pay no attention to the old coop, Dan. Thunderation. Man can't say nothing. Get up there, boy. Racing toward the rail fence like an arrow shot from a bow, the colt thundered down the grassy stretch with his young rider hunched tensely in the saddle for the jump. Come on, boy, up and over. Gathering his hoofs, the son of silver seemed about to thrust himself toward the barrier. Then he shied away with a suddenness that hurled Dan over his head and over the fence. Oh, glory be. Did you hurt yourself, son? Here, let me help you. Oh, golly. I'm all right. Guess I'll need a lot of practice before I'll be any good at fence chopping, though. <laughs> uh, white horse victor again. You were off balance, Dan. A horse knows when he isn't being properly ridden. Besides, you should steady your mount before the jump. Ah, that's why him shy at fence. Uh, well, next time... Thunderation, I... Mag. Here comes Mayor Squibbs. Oh, that scheming old skin flint. Mm. What's he doing on my land? Oh, oh, there. Oh, put up there. Oh. Yeah, I thought I'd find you here, Sheriff. Wasting the people's money when you ought to be out chasing crooks. Hey, Thunder Squibbs, them's fighting words. You, you double-dealing land-grabbing old skin flint. Who gave you permission to traipse your ugly old carcass on my property? Get out of here before I lose my temper. Ah, uh, don't do anything you regret, Mag. I'm here in official business. The United States Marshal has been murdered. Marshal Carter? That's the one. Him and the sheriff's new deputy went out to Potter's Ghost to bring in Big Mike for the mail robbery. Why wasn't I notified of the Marshal's coming? He wasn't nowhere to be seen. The Marshal didn't want to waste the time looking for you. Seems to me Bat Hogan, that new deputy of mine, is taking a lot on himself. Gunning for your job, that's what he is, Missouri. Likely as not, his honor the mayor here made that deputy so as to run against you in the election. I ain't the only one who thinks Trigger Ben needs a new sheriff. You're scheming, tax-grabbing coyote. If it was election time for a new mayor, you'd be voted clean out of the county. Who killed the marshal? Well, I don't know for certain. Him and Bat split up so as a scout for clues. The last Bat saw him alive, he was heading in the notch for Putter's Gulch. Oh. Bat heard the shots and whipped right back. But the marshal was dead and his horse was gone. I see. Looks to me like a clear case, Sheriff. Hey? Eh? The marshal was murdered at Potter's Gulch, wasn't he? That means a big bend didn't drill him. Them renegades who live there did. That's an underhanded lie, Squibbs. They're decent, honest, self-respecting people who settled in the Gulch. They wouldn't murder nobody. Big Mike could have been one of them without their knowing. Nobody's ever seen him without a mask. Who are these people? They're tax-cheating lawbreakers. That's who they are. They hate the law. Now, just as likely shoot down the United States Marshal as the sheriff for upholding it. Now, you shut your mealy mouth, you crook. I know them people. They hate the law because you hid behind it to raise their taxes and grab their land while they couldn't pay. Is that true, Squibb? Hey, hey. You're all gone tootin', it's true. Two years ago, Squibbs taxed us town folks so as a whole parcel cleared out with what few belongs he left them and settled in Potter's Gulch. Squibs can't touch him there. And now the thieving polecats put through a new tax bill, doubling what we'll have to pay. Public improvements require new taxes. Public improvements? Why, the only improvements this town seen since you was elected mayor, blast the day, is in the size of your pocket. Yeah, my dear woman, Don't oh, dear woman me, you low-down skunk. By Jehoshaphat, I've had all of you I can stomach. Missouri, give me your gun. What's it? Oh, dance, doggone your hide. Dance, ugly caucus off my leg. Sheriff, Sheriff, stop it. Arrest that woman. She'll kill me, Sheriff. Uh, what's that? There's so much noise, I can't hear you. No. 
Some time later, while Dan remained in the corral with his new horse, the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Missouri elbowed through an angry crowd outside the coroner's office in Trigger Bend, where the murdered marshal had been brought. Yeah, make way. It's the sheriff. Lone Ranger and the engine's with him. We want action, Missouri. Yeah. You, you want to hang out of that sheriff, Star? Bring back the killer. Right. Election ain't but a few days off. We aim for it either avenge the marshal or hunt a new town. Right. Oh, Gordon... Might think I wanted the killer to go free to hear him carry on. Squibbs has stirred the crowd against you, Missouri. Ah, uh, and maybe deputy help him. I wouldn't put it past them ornery skunks. Let's see if we can learn anything from the body. Ah, uh, Marshal get two bullets in head. That's strange. What is it, masked man? Powder burns. Whoever fired those shots was as close to the Marshal as I am to you. Ah, uh, but how murder come that close? I don't know. Must have got the drop on the marshal when the youngster least expected it. Kimasabi. What is it, Tonto? Him ride paint horse. Yes. Horse have brown patch on left side, white patch on right. Doggone if that ain't the truth. His horse hair is rubbed off on the inside of the marshal's pants legs. We may need that information to trap the killer. We go hunt him now? Yes, Kimasabi. We ride the potter's goat. <laughs> From his office across the street, Mayor Squibbs and Bat Hogan, the sheriff's deputy, watched the masked man, the Indian, and Missouri mount their horses and turn them toward the distant hills. <laughs> Crowd's still round, Missouri. Listen to him. Yeah, you stirred him up plenty, Squibbs. If it wasn't for the Lone Ranger, you'd be elected sheriff easy. Missouri would never tie up the marshal's murder to his own deputy. Well, maybe so, but that masked critter's liable to do anything. That's why we ain't taking chances. After today, the Lone Ranger will be out of our way. Missouri, too. Then you're a cinch to be sheriff, Bat. <laughs> Bat Hogan. That ain't bad for a new handle. Big Mike was getting a mite too hot for comfort with that marshal on my trail. Did you send his horse through the pass? Yeah, just like you told me. Good. That's all we need to pin the marshal's murder on them tax-cheating squatters holed up in the gulch. I don't savvy. Well, everybody knows they went to Potter's Gulch to escape the law. They hate the sight of it. When the marshal's horse is found in their possession, folks will just naturally figure those law-hating tax delinquents killed them. That's why you're so all fired anxious for the murder to take place at the pass, huh? That's why you've got to shoot the Lone Ranger in Missouri there, too. Then when you're sheriff, you can blame all the killings on them critters at the gulch. <laughs> Riding slowly, the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Missouri peered intently at the rocky trail for a clue to the marshal's killer. Directly ahead was the narrow gorge, which led into Potter's Gulch. Drat this confounded shale. Can't find nary hoofprint where the marshal passed. Uh-huh. Rock, not show trace. Squibb said the marshal and Bat Hogan separated before the murder. Isn't that right. But me not find place. All right, Tonto. I wonder... The trail's changing. That sand up ahead. Ah. Uh-huh. Oh, maybe we find clue. We're almost at the pass. Somewhere along here is the spot where the marshal was killed. You think Big Mike was a yellow-livered coyote who ambushed him? Or do you suppose it was one of them lawless spies and critters from the gulch? I don't know, Missouri. Oh, Silver for more. Oh, 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 Look, Tonto. Ah. Uh, two horses leave prints in sand. Then dance round. Seem plenty excited. Juniper! This must be the murder spot. Yes, but I... Leaping catfish outlaws. Ah, uh, then mass. It's Big Mike's gang. Close in, out of boys. Riddle them. Head for the pass. Come on, Silver. Oh, we can't do that. Folks in Potter's Gulch hate lawmen worse than rattlers. They're drillers. Our only escape. Hurry, get them up. Scout. Great guns. We're jumping from the frying pan to the fire. Get up, coyotes. Come on, Silver. They're heading for the pass. Get them now. Riddle them. They're getting away. There ain't no escape, boys. They'll be drilled full of holes before they get through the gorge. Didn't I tell you? That's the last of the Lone Ranger and the engine of Missouri, too. The curtain falls on the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. As the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Missouri raced through the narrow crevasse away from the outlaws who sought to ambush them, they were met by a fusillade of shots and saw that their new assailants were the settlers of Potter's Gulf. Oh, sir. 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 O
Come on. Leave your guns alone. Better do what he says, boys. The Lone Ranger's grease lightning with the six shooters. All of you, please listen. The Lone Ranger wants to help hey, you. Amy, you let the prisoners free. Yes, I did. You've all let your bitterness and hatred for crooked law blind you to the fine and decent things the law represents. The Lone Ranger stands for a square deal. If you'll only ah, listen now to Now listen to me. You men are cowards. Cowards? Hey, you can't call us that. I don't care who you are. You chose to run instead of fighting to put the crook who cheated you behind bars. Mayor Squibbs made the laws to suit himself. The only way to fight him was to break him. And we did that same by refusing to pay his crooked taxes. Yeah, so he moved in and took our homes and livestock for not abiding by the laws. Yeah. Right. Now wait. There's one law even Squibbs can't hide behind. What's that? The penalty for murder. Murder? murder. The masked man must be local. The Mary got the nerve to kill a chicken. Suppose Quiggs is guilty of murder. What's it to do with us? He planned to blame the crime on all of you. Oh, no, that calls for proof. The proof is in your own barn. A paint horse and government saddlebags. Both belonging to a United States Marshal who was murdered. So that's why the man made the horse run through the pass. Why, that low-down skunk, I see it now. He and his crooked laws couldn't touch us here in Potter's Gulch. But with proof of murder, he could have us wiped out. That's just right. Are we going to let that yellow-livered coyote get away with that? Well, what can we do about it? Go back and fight. Tell me. How? With your help, we can trap Squibs. Say you'll do it, Jeff. It's the chance we've been waiting for, Jeff. Yeah, a chance to settle old scores with Mayor Squibs and get free of Potter's Gulch. Well, the Lone Ranger's got my vote. I do. All right. When do we start? Let's go! Right. following night, Bat Hogan and Mayor Squibbs conferred on their plans for the election in the sheriff's office. Bat settled himself comfortably in Missouri's squeaky old office chair and propped a poster on the worn old desk. Vote for Bat Hogan for sheriff. People's protector. <laughs> yeah, Those mighty fine words, Squibbs. We'll tack them posters all over town. Run a banner across Main Street. You'll be a cinch to win the election. <laughs> yeah, there ain't nobody else running against me. Unless it's Missouri's ghost. Don't say them things. Why, nervous? Well, it'd feel a lot easier if you'd taken care of the Lone Ranger of Missouri yourself. Are you sure the Potter's God's crowd drilled them? Oh, the way them squatters were sending lead down in that pass, they couldn't miss. Quit worrying, Squibbs. Somebody to see you, Mayor Squibbs. Who is it? Jeff Colvin from Potter's God's. Jeff Colvin. That young squirt's the leader of the Potter's God's crowd. Wonder what he wants. Yeah, show him in. We'll find out. You've got your men posted around the jail, ain't you, Bad? Sure, could worry. Him. All right, Jeff. Go on in. Well, Jeff, this is kind of a surprise. I never thought I'd see you in town again. Never expected to come, Squibbs. But, well, the folks voted to return here to live. Is that so? Well, it'll take more than votes for him to come. It'll take a tidy sum and back taxes. Yes, they know that. I've got the tax money in the satchel. Ten thousand dollars. You... You mean to say you got $10,000 in that bag? Took nearly every cent the folks could raise. But it'll pay off the claims you've got against their homes and stocks. Yes. Let me see that satchel, Jeff. Mm, here. Mm, $10,000. What do you know? Well, now, if you'll just give me a receipt, Mayor Squibb, so the folks can claim the land. Well, Here's your receipt. So that you can Keep it in the leather, I'll drill you. You low-down skunks. <laughs> this 10000 look mighty handsome in the treasury, Jeff. But it wouldn't begin to pay for all them lands I confiscated. You won't get away with it. Everybody in Potter's Gulch will know. Everybody in Potter's Gulch will know you as a murderer, same as everybody else. Murder? You killed the United States Marshal, Jeff. And we've got evidence against you to prove it. Oh, you're framing me. You killed the Marshal. <laughs> sure we did. Squibbs planned the murder, and me, Big Mike, I drilled him down. But who's to know that? You're big man. Talk him up, Bat. You talk too much. Just enough Bat. to arrest you both for murder. Bat, it's a lone ranger. It can't be. He's dead. Take charge of your prisoner, Sheriff. Just let me at him. That's all I ask. The double dealer, low down, murdering skunk. Monsieur, it too. Bat, you've ruined everything. Not yet, I ain't. I'll get the boys. Webbs, the men you posted outside have all been taken care of. But the people of Potter's Gulch, the people you dispossessed. And every one of them heard your confession. They're just itching to be witnesses, Quibbs. Now get going for that cell. If I 
fiery all-white cold streaked across the prairie grass of Mustang Mang's Lazy J Ranch toward a rail fence. The youth who bent so intently over the horse's back seemed to have eyes only for the barrier, but his lips whispered encouragement to the colt. Come on, boy, we can't let the Lone Ranger down. We've got to make it. The handsome head of the colt, son of the great horse, Silver, seemed to toss as if an understanding. His flying feet suddenly gathered for the leap. Then, straight and true, the horse and rider arched through the air as one. Come on, boy. <laughs> Sakes alive, he did it. He jumped that fence as pretty as a picture. Under reason. I'd like to swallow my Adam's apple when he took off that leap. Over again, boy. <laughs> oh. oh, boy, hold there. Fine oh. job, Dan. Gosh, thanks. Does that mean we ride together, the three of us? Yes, Dan, together from now on. Uh, Colt, not Victor anymore, Dan. You master now. Victor? Eh? Victor, that's it. What? Well, you said when I learned to ride the Colt, I could pick a new name for him. Well, I'd like to call him Victor. It's a fine name, Dan. A name he can be proud of. Ah. Well, thanks for everything, Meg. You've been very kind. Goodbye. And goodbye, Mr. Goodbye, 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 Tonto. Goodbye. 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 So long, Take care Adios. of yourself, Adios. 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 Come on, Silver! Get him up, Scout! Come on, Victor! Well, Silver! Boy! just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.